So you like Teslas, huh? Yeah, they're you pretty cool know cars. Not eco friendly, right? Do you even know how lithium ion batteries are made? Do you even know how bad supercharging is for your battery? And what do you do when you run out of battery in the middle of nowhere? Today's video is not about lithium mining and how eco-friendly EVs are compared to gas cars. We'll be taking a look further into the myths about EVs in a video coming soon though, so stay tuned. Today, we're talking about Tesla battery life tips and tricks, and even though we will focus on Tesla, these tips and tricks will work to help extend the life and performance of other EVs as well. The first question many people have simply is, how do I charge? Do I use a home charger, destination charger, supercharger, trickle charger, etc., etc.? Many people don't know when they're starting to look into electric vehicles that they will be required, or at least it's strongly recommended, to have a home charging system installed. Tesla, on their website, claim that supercharging is intended for long distance travel and road trips only, and it is not a recommended solution for daily commutes or local charging. According to Dalton Hurst, writing for OptiWatt, research has shown that Tesla owners have permanently damaged their Tesla batteries due to frequent supercharging. The second main concern when it comes to battery life is something called the state of charge. This is a fancy way of saying your battery's level of charge relative to your battery's maximum capacity. For a long time, there have been myths and misconceptions about maintaining lithium ion batteries and it goes well beyond just EVs. Laptops, cell phones, watches, tablets, toothbrushes, to name a few, these are the most used lithium battery products in the market today, and all of them have batteries that require charge and proper maintenance. Since in our shop, we work on legacy cars, legacy Teslas, which oftentimes have 14-year-old batteries, we have begun to observe emerging trends, how these batteries are aging, and what the best way to charge them and maintain them is. What we are recommending with these older Teslas is, this late in the game, do not do range charges, full charges it stresses the battery. Don't drive your car to less than 30 to 40 miles range. Any of these extremes stress these marginalized cells. We see plenty of battery degradation in these older Teslas. One of the main concerns for people here in Arizona where we are located is heat. Does intense heat, like 112 degrees, which is what it is today, matter to the battery life of a Tesla or any EV for that matter? The simple answer is yes. That's one of the reasons that these batteries have thermal management. And the opposite extreme is equally as troubling if it gets extremely cold. Lithium ion packs have thermal management to prevent the ambient extreme cold temperature temperatures ever reaching the cells. So getting back to supercharging for a moment, supercharging definitely is not your battery's favorite activity. However, oftentimes it is unavoidable just from a convenience standpoint if you're on a trip, for example. The key is to limit the amount of supercharging you go through. For example, if you live in an apartment and you don't have a destination charger or a home charging system, a steady diet of supercharging will take its toll on your main propulsion battery. So destination chargers are known to be much slower than alternatives like superchargers, but are much better for the overall health and life of your car's battery. Here's some tips for home charging. Schedule your home charges in the middle of the night when the cost per kilowatt hour are the lowest. Here's some tips for destination charging. Be aware that dependent on charge load, you may not get a maximum charge rate since you may be sharing the chargers. If you're on a schedule, give yourself a time buffer. Set yourself a daily schedule for charging so you never run into issues with unexpected charging needs or range anxiety. Also, learn to get maximum use of your regenerative braking, anticipating stops. It will help charge your battery while driving and extend the life of your brakes. Regen braking converts the kinetic energy used to stop the car into battery power. So what about charge frequency? Should you charge daily, weekly, monthly? What we recommend is keeping your vehicle top charged to 80%. It's the most gentle form of charging and assures you always have a full tank of gas whenever you need it. Avoid discharging completely. It stresses the battery. Avoid a steady diet of excessive acceleration or quickly depleting the battery. Not only is it hard on the mechanical drivetrain portions of your EV, but tough on your battery as well. Staying for a moment with excessive acceleration. This is a Model S, and what we see from time to time is a cracked drivetrain cradle. 
Not only are the motor mounts, which normally look like this, cracked off, but in this case, the frame is actually cracked as well. For maximum range, maintain your vehicle tire pressure properly. The recommended inflation pressures are inside your door jam. Remove any unnecessary cargo to lighten the load and remove roof racks or rear racks when not in use to cut down on wind resistance. By reducing aerodynamic drag, you will increase the range of your EV. So now you know the truth. There are plenty of charging stations. Supercharging, while not recommended for daily use, if used properly, is not overly detrimental to your battery. Okay, I understand the charging now, but what about the eco-friendly stuff? We're going to cover some of the eco-friendly considerations in a future video, so stay tuned. But for now, that's our time. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Patreon, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Pete Gruber, and we'll see you next time.